and welcome to Getting Dressed with the Sisters. Tonight, we thought we would share with you all some of our costume ideas so that you can replicate the Jane Austen look yourself at home. So, we're going to show you some of our Goodwill finds, some things that we just had in our closet, and all sorts of wonderful treasures that you yourself could come up with yes. and actually make yourself a very viable Jane Austen costume. Yes, whether you so, like to play dress up like, like me, just for, just for fun, or whether you're, you know, going to a ball or a, right. some sort of a tea maybe party a tea or an party, event. Maybe a wedding shower, a yes. bridal shower with yes. a Jane Austen theme. I know a lot of people have been posting pictures yes, of Yes, that's those. right. So we've and got some so good options. We've got some, we've got some great stuff to show now, tonight. I would like to start with my antique lace collar because you'll see this in nearly all of my videos. Yes. Probably I wear it in practically every single one because it is just sort of the quintessential piece to add to make anything just look appropriate for yes. the time period. You know, I mean, it can be on a ball gown. I think I wore it under my ball gown yes. to have like a little lace coming You've out. You've even flipped it I've the other way it the other and way had it as a collar like this. I've done everything, yes. If you can find yourself a collar, can which you can, it? there are lots of them on Etsy. You can look on eBay. You can look on even Facebook Marketplace. I've seen some on there. And a lot of them on Etsy are quite inexpensive. I don't okay, know if they're, great. you know, just little pieces. And, and, and what do they $5. put in? Antique lace collar? Yeah, or? I would try, you know, antique collar, antique lace collar, something like that, and okay. it could come up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And did you tell them you got this one from this England? This is from England. It's an antique, and my mother had purchased it, actually. And it's, you can see, I'll show you the back, because the back is quite pretty, too. It's oh, very, wow. It's ex it's really exquisite. I always forget how quite beautiful intricate. it is in the yes, back. I mean, that really makes pretty. any dress. And tell me about your dress. My this dress, this is a Goodwill find. It was about, you know, $5 or so. Two and weeks ago. Two, yeah, a couple weeks. Up. And the thing we like to say to look for, when you're searching through the racks of clothes, just for fun, try to look for a blousey, sort of poofy puff sleeve, right? Anything that's, you know, sort of feminine and light and soft. Yes. Um, so that works. It's, it's all the way to the floor. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. It's all the way to the floor. It's a, it happens to be a long gown. Like a and, midi length, uh, Yes, right? right about to, well, yeah, not to the floor, I shouldn't have said. Right, right to about to the ankle, right yeah. to the ankle. Um, and this color, at first I thought, well, it's a little drab. But then I realized, you know, they do a lot of really earth yes. tones. Browns. Browns and mauves and beige yeah, and, beige. you know, yeah, yeah, not a lot. And when you dress it up with a collar, you can put a, a different color, even a dark or plum would be really pretty with this. Yes. A plum ribbon. I think I have one yes. of those somewhere, but you know, any kind of a ribbon, even a silver, you know, would have been pretty. Perhaps look at this. Even the silver would, you know, make it a little dressier if you want to dress it up. There's the plum. Oh wow. See, I could have done that and that would have been a whole different yes. look. Yes. You see how you right? can give it a totally different look just yeah. by changing up the ribbon. That's really pretty. That you is done that. Yeah, you should have oh, that tonight. I know, it's so pretty. So, you know, ribbons are the key. Also, yes, because, because they make your waistline. You need the Empire waist. So any kind of a dress, I've lost my British accent. Dear, it's get it back. I've gone into tutorial mode. I never mode. have mine, but I, I, I know. expect more of you, you dear. Know, it's very late in the day. My, my British is fading. Anything that does not have an actual waistband built in right. works as far as a dress is concerned. Right. Um, if you want a full dress. A if baby doll dress works well. A baby doll, well. yes. Anything that doesn't have a waist because you create your Empire waist with... Yes. A belt or a ribbon. I think the ribbons are fun because they're really feminine and they're not quite as tight and you can you can still breathe. Right. You can tie them as tight as you want. Right. They're custom custom built to you when you have yes. a ribbon, right? Yes. And then let's talk about mine. Now, this looks like a gown, doesn't does it not? Now look, it's all crooked. I know. Everything is mirror image. Oh, we okay. always have that trouble. Yes. This is actually a vintage nightgown mm -hmm. from the Goodwill. It costs yes. $3.99. Yes. As all their night clothes do, $3.99. And it was brand new with the tag still yeah, on it. It was vintage, dead stock. Vintage, vintage, vintage dead stock. You can is see that a brand? Sleeves here. Dead stock means it's vintage with the tags on it. There you go. That is the term, dead stock. You learn something new every day, ladies That's and right. gentlemen. And look at this. It had this so no waistband. So it's she put a ribbon down, that just I, absolutely matches perfectly. This dress looks gorgeous. Is this gorgeous. not Jane Austen? It is perfect. And it again a tea? goes right to the ankle. It's yes, amazing. because it's a nightgown. Yes. It, that's, so that's the that's other thing. That's the key to get your full length. Now, yes. a lot of our costumes, as we've told you before, are just Pretense. tops. Just tops. Or, or short we dresses. We wear sweats with it because we're just filming from the waist yes. up. But if you actually want the yes. full look, go for the nightgown. So when you're, when you're thumbing through the racks... Look for the short sleeves oftentimes, the puff sleeves, or look for something that's long. Because yep. there are so not as many long dresses or long, long nightgowns. All the way to the all, all the way. way to my ankle. So yes. this was a perfect so vibe. Because okay. it fit all the bills. Like we don't just have to wear a t-shirt. I mean a top. We can wear the actual whole dress. Exactly. And that's the type that we absolutely exactly. love to find. When we see that at the Goodwill, we snatch it. That's right. 
So should we continue on with some ribbons? Yes. Since I have this one here. Well, look at look at how I can even change. With the look this, of this, you could change. You could do any color. Which oh, that is so beautiful. And I that mean, blue is like that. a perfect period drama color. Oh, we keep switching our we outfit and saying it. we like it even better. Look at the color yes. with that. You could wear that next time. You could do a pink ribbon, you could do green, you could do blue, anything. Yeah. This is a really fun piece of ribbon. I just got this at yes. the local craft store. And it dresses up your outfit entirely. It does yes. something completely different. Now, it doesn't really yes. go with it my go with your collar. collar. But it makes something, it will yes. stand out as something look. really different. And it adds those, you know, that little bit of feminine, yes. you know, the little the little blush colored roses. It's just really, that's really gorgeous. pretty. So All that's right, something let's, different. Let's show them another look here. Right. Now, here's something where we said sometimes we, we just get a blouse. Mm -hmm. And that works for us because we're just doing it from the waist up. So right. this is a piece she picked up at the Goodwill. Once again, like I said, we look for sleeves. So she's going through the rack. She sees also. these sleeves and thinks, now that looks like it could be used as Austin. Now this mm -hmm. is actually comes down around the waist. But what Angelique did is she pulls this waistline. Help me pull this. Yes. Here. I just sort she, of tucked she, it up. She tucked it up. Just enough. And pulled it up around her waist. It's a wrap top. And then she was able to tie it. And then I tied it with belt. Around her so waist. it just looked like it was coming down looser. And right? then once again. Any kind of For ribbon. something like this, you could do this beautiful blue. You could do cream. Oh, that silver's really pretty. You could do that silver. dresses it up. Yes. And this is just mm -hmm. this is the back. With some pearls. How perfect would that be? Yes. It looks like a perfect some afternoon pearls. tea dress. Yes. So many of the uh, costumes that we get to have a certain look to them. Some yes. look more formal, like for an evening. Some look mm -hmm. more like a daytime. And I showed this. This had those really cute sleeves and a d nice little different neckline with the lace collar already built in. If you can yep. find something a little lacy, yep. that automatically looks a little And here, hold that up and let's show vintage. how. Now you could put this different thing on this, you see. You could put... Mm, we do last... Mm, I think we did cream. cream. I think we, we did, did cream. cream. See, I'm wearing the cream, the cream one tonight. color. But once cream again, really it has those sleeves. The color that kind of just goes with anything. Yeah, and a this cream is just ribbon. a modern top. You yeah. know, this is the one we wear when we don't it's have a modern. bottom. But what you, you can, can do is sometimes you can find lawn slips. Um, and you can pull them up to your waist and then they hit just about at your mm. ankles. You can find those at the Goodwill. And for instance, even sometimes you can use a short one, something like this, over another piece and make it... Look like it's got a double layer on it, mm -hmm. and that just adds to it as well. Mm -hmm. See, so I could do this. Just add something, just and extra. Then this yes. would only come to my knees, and then the rest would come out underneath. Right. See, so pretty. And since we're on the topic of nightgowns, I'm going to show all the rest of the nightgowns we have right now. Okay. So we have this one. We wore this in one of our Bridgerton reviews. This is just a pale yellow. It's so pretty because it's just got this really light feminine lace. And again, no waist, so you just tuck it in with a belt, and it's just perfect. Add a little necklace. Three ninety nine. Perfect. Goodwill. Here's another one. This one is a newer one we just bought. Now with something like this, this because there's no sleeves, mm. you could This could almost work for a ball belt. gown. This Don't could be think? a ball gown, yes. You could also, I, you have that um, fitted lace top that you wore under your ball gown. Yes. You could wear a fitted lace top with uh -huh. lace sleeves that go about kind three quarters. Kind of like quarters. a bodysuit. Yes, three quarter lace fitted sleeves, that could work. Or you get a shawl, a bit of um, see-through uh, material. Like they use for um, curtains. Like chiffon. This is an old curtain, yeah. I think. Yes, it's yes, it's one of my own. And see, I, I can just wrap this and right have, around my arms. Yes. And there, therefore you now have sleeves. You don't Or any sleeves. kind of a shawl, you know, if you get something a little fancier oh, yeah, for the ball. This beautiful. is a little less fancy if you this want just for more, it more after daytime. Day, more daytime, uh -huh. right? But these little shawls can cover over and then it looks so perfect anyway, because they often have a shawl. Yeah. And I you just love cover that. over your sleeves. Look at that, it looks so Jane Austen. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, and this was a $4 Emma, nightgown. Emma, here we go. Perfect, come. perfect, right? Gorgeous. Okay, the last nightgown, and we've showed this a little bit in one of our live videos. Um, is a, another sleeveless number here, and then we just tied this with a ribbon. Vintage. Vintage. This is vintage. We're very vintage. It came with bloomers. And I thought, well, what in the world? We're obviously not going to use those. Something well, Doris Day would have worn. <laughs> and I thought, you know what, Noelle? You're skinny enough. You can fit in this. Don't put your feet in them. Put your arms in them. And so I had her put this around the back of her shoulders like a little bolero jacket. And she had her arms coming out the puff sleeves, and it just looked like a perfect it gave little sleeves. gown. You can see me wearing this in one of our Bridgerton reviews. Yes. We've reviewed Bridgerton, and they wore brighter colors and Much more, more fun, outlandish yeah. outfits. And so I wear that this in one of my perfect. reviews, and it looks so and it, fun. Yeah, it looked beautiful. Um, do you want to do that? Let's do this one. This yeah. Is, this is a little, another modern. We have a couple modern dresses here that we got from Target. Yes. And they were just... <clears throat> 
anything like, like again, a baby doll style. A baby doll style. And there's not really a waist too much. There's a little kind bit of gathered. Smocked here. Uh, yeah, smock elastic. So we put a bit. You know, you put. We had, I think, a turquoisey green. Or you could do a peach. Uh huh. And like that. This color is a little bit dark for Austin, but they they did wear some darker colors. I remember Lizzie and Pride and Prejudice had like a dark. Oh, that's beautiful, and it matches my beautiful? my bonnet, which I yes. forgot to bring. I'm gonna have to do and that that another pretty one with the square collar worked. Very on that flattering. One. This is another one that really worked. This is actually high waisted as it is. Look at the sleeves. And then the though. sleeves. This was target. It's really blousey. Wire target. fable. And you just put a little belt. This this plum belt this. matches with everything too, yes, doesn't it? We've got a lot of that. Look so beautiful. That. Oh my gosh. Look and we've that. worn this in some of, some of our videos. Yeah, I just love all and of again, them. Again, you know, this isn't. These are not floor length dresses, so they wouldn't really work if you were going to a party or something just alone, you could put something could long put underneath straight them. straight sheath yes, type of skirt. Yes, a sheath skirt could work. Mm -hmm. um, or um, I have some like knitty skirts at home, you know, that yes. are like, the, those were very popular back. Right. I mean, I, I think I probably got rid of them now, but mm -hmm. boy, I should have hold, held mm -hmm. on to those because you can pull them up to your waist. And yes. you can pull them up high instead of yes. keeping them at your waist. Right. And if they're long already, the, the length still can work. Right. Here's another shawl, but you just see just like a little bit of a pattern, something's not too much. Just a little something could be, but you've got to stay, try to stay away from the big patterns. Stick with stuff that is uh, minimal pattern yes. or just or solid, a solid color, yeah. like a, 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 you know, antique -y kind of color. This is something that I wore, I think in our first, I maybe think so. our first yeah. episode of Sanditon. This is made well, as you can see, and this is a top that I got for myself that I love, that I wear tucked in with jeans. But look at, once again, it's got the perfect little puff sleeve. sleeves. So I took this and I simply, hold this ribbon mm -hmm. up around here. Made uh, it higher waist. <laughs> Wait, you're going oh, down. My you side. gotta go, go up. Waist. And you know what else Just would like work that. really well with that? A lace collar. Yeah. And it would be perfect. Right. Absolutely perfect. Right. Okay. And again, with this, then you could put a skirt. I wore it with a just wear it with a mini skirt. I just put it right put up the to skirt my, up to the top, yeah. and then it, it goes long enough. And I think you maybe had a um, a slip under it too. Yes. That could work. Yes. Perfect. Okay. This is my last piece that I brought today. So this was my um, Victorian caroling costume that a friend made for me. Um, and They're going to so, say, what did you just say? Victorian caroling sorry. costume. A Victorian caroling costume. So I'm a singer, and people would like to hire people, um, like quartets or little groups, to come at and Christmas sing time. at Christmas right. time and, and you carol. And, things. and you have so to this have was her costume. a costume. This is a Victorian costume, but watch how we can turn it to so, Jane Austen. I wore this in one little addendum at some point. Yes. You, you have sort of the high little, you know, mock turtleneck collar there that comes up. And it's got these really beautiful sleeves. And all I did was put a belt around it as a high waist. And all of a sudden, you have a little... A perfect Jane perfect Austen. Look Jane at Austin. that. Look at the difference now. Right? It's just that high waist oh belt just changes everything. It's amazing. Oh, my goodness. And I had some I had some um, burgundy, like colored, right burgundy colored little feathers in my hair that I put... You know, that Jane Austen. Worked for, yeah, it worked perfectly. And this is the matching skirt to the her full skirt costume. to my caroling costume. Which I don't know if you saw in one episode of our Bridgerton reviews, I wore as a full on dress. And I put it up to the top. I know I look like a Christmas tree, uh, a Christmas skirt. skirt, a Christmas tree skirt here. But I put it, and I, this is a little full. If they're not, nor skirts aren't right, normally right, this quite right. so full. But you can pull it and pull the gathers to the back, right? So you pull some of them, and then you belt it with a little belt, and it, it works. Because I had an extra shawl, and I didn't bring the shawl, I don't know where it is, it's in a box somewhere. Extra material that then I wrapped around my shoulder to make like a, a little shrug, like a shawl. Yeah. And I mean, Look this is like, like really formal. Right. Yeah. Like if you want something really formal. So this is made out of taffeta. Right. And it's long. Very and long. And once again, having that extra piece of fabric, you're able to, to wrap make around. yourself sleeves. Or you could use something like your little, right. something this thing, something like that. And we had a dress at one point, I remember in one of our Bridgerton videos, that was strapless. You wore that sequin strapless dress, that turquoise one. Yes. And I just had these wide, like, grosgrain ribbon. Yes. And I just put the ribbon, I tucked it into the top, and I made, like, that. pretend sleeves just as a little something so it wasn't, like, completely. Yeah, she literally. And then you had a shawl. Just took, took a the piece, ribbon. It was wider than it this. It was wider. A piece of ribbon. And, and I just like tied, this. and I think I did it, like, maybe a little she bit off the shoulder. She brought it wider at the top. And then she and I brought it down, down and I tucked, tucked it in. It right into the, and so to it was the strapless like, top and it, it gave it yeah, sleeves. Gave and it then sleeves. we put a shawl on which also shawl. covered it up a little bit more. So there's all kinds of things. You want to show the um, the little necklaces Yes, that you let's have? talk about some, some accessories. Jewelry. And because we can talk of course, here for a minute. A genteel lady must accessorize. So 
One very simple thing to do if you do not have any jewelry that you think looks period is to take a piece of ribbon and simply tie it around your neck. And they did this they a lot. They did this a lot. It can be thin. Sometimes, you know, that thin ribbon has a little edge, really a little edging mm -hmm. on it, that little silk mm -hmm. ribbon you can buy at the Michaels or whatever. Yes. That works perfect. Mm -hmm. If you have a little locket, you can hang the locket off of the piece of ribbon, yes. right? And yes. have the ribbon. A you little, see yes. that all the time in the Jane Austen movies. Mm -hmm. Um, very small, delicate, usually fair, fairly small, delicate, yeah, pearls, unobtrusive. Yeah, you can't ever go wrong with pearls. A lot mm -hmm. of us have a strand of pearls, maybe not real, but just a, here's a set I got from the Goodwill. Costume jewelry works. So this is a long one, and often I will just take it, wrap it once. Mm -hmm. Now, I know I have another one on, but ignore that. Yes, they you often have the long, that looks? because they hung down and they have that real Grecian look. They have their little yeah. shawls draped over their arm and stuff. They have the long, clean this lines. This four dollars at the Goodwill. Yes, perfect. Um, here's another. Here's a one with some gold. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this has got a pretty little filigree really pattern. Good. That is pretty. Another one, two ninety nine from mm -hmm. a thrift store. Yes. Um, earrings. You can't go wrong with just little a pearls. tiny little Drop drop pearls, or... stud pearls, mm -hmm. and then just cheapy little. These are just from Forever Twenty One. Do it like three dollars, but look how they work for Austin. Mm -hmm. See, and often we get them to match our dress. Often we use this pale blue color, you know, so the net matches. And, and they did kind of. They went with sort of the same colors, mm -hmm. like pale pinks, pale blues, colors. Pa you There's know, pale peach. green, mint greens, pale lavenders. Same type thing for every twenty one. You know, mm -hmm. just cheapy, yeah. but it mm -hmm. works. Um, of course, we always have to have our fans. The fan is my mother-in-law picked this up for me at the dollar store today. So there you have it. Good, say goodbye to the hot pink feathers. That's right. Get oh yourself dear. a good I fan. Miss them. Yes, you must have a fan. A lady needs needs always must a fan so that yes. she can communicate to her beau. If now, you haven't seen our language of the fan video, yes, good you must plug. Watch yeah. that. Yes. Good plug. Yes. If you haven't seen our language of the fan video, watch it. It's mm. quite a hoot. Yes. Now this is a jeweled <laughs> headband. Mm -hmm. It must have been popular back in the day. Yeah, but you've that was another Forever 21. Another for, yes. I'm, it's going to mess up my hair. Yeah, but it's that's all right. right. It is absolutely, it turns you into a queen immediately. Look at that. Do you know who you remind me of? Like one of those, um, oh, the really well, Miss Grey from Sense and Sensibility with all the yes. money. You know, she was very regal yes. and had this little, I think, she, I don't know. And that's just, just a little headband. From and it can work in anyone's 21. hair. Short, long, anything. Yep. And you know, my hair is just, I literally have it in, tonight, I literally have it in a ponytail. And I just took it up and went, flip it right up. Stuck it in with one clip, and that's it. And it just poofs over, and there you go. Yeah, and then you, you curl, curl your hair. Rows. I put a little flower in just to make it look pretty. With me, with short hair, I often use, like I said, that headband. A ribbon or, or a the tie headband. A ribbon. They often mm -hmm. did ribbons, several ribbons, intertwining around yes. the back when they were getting fancy. Yes. Um, and how about if you're going to a ball? If you, want to little, get a, if you want to get a little garish, you might pull out your rhinestones. You love we pulled this out for the Bridgerton. Oh, we had so much um, fun with our reviews. Bridgerton reviews. We went, we went gaudy, folks. Yes, yes. This is kind of fun. You fact, can do. Can I was going to say you can put them in your hair. Look at this. It's so hard to get it right on this camera. I know the camera. There. Everything is mirror image. I want to go yeah, that way. There. Got, she's done it in her hair before. It looks incredible. It's beautiful. We A layer little. them. Mm -hmm. Several pieces. Mm -hmm. If you watch our Bridgerton reviews, you will yes. see and we all have the of earrings these too, in action. So, you can find, I mean, you know, you can usually find these at thrift stores yeah. and, you know. Or antique stores. Antique, antique Some malls. of these we've gotten at antique yes. stores and we don't this mind paying a little more wedding. for it because it's one that we, 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 we wear these. Like, yeah. we love these. She wore all these in her wedding, like she said. So, we don't mind paying 20 or 30 for something like this, but look at that. Oops, sorry. Because they're, I mean, they're spectacular pieces and you know yeah. someone else wore them. So Put these really on with fun. a black dress for a New Year's Eve mm -hmm. party and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Was there one more thing I was going I to show? That was I thought there was one more thing. Maybe that's it. I think, I think that's it. We're I think going we've to covered talk all about of it. the bonnet, but I didn't bring the bonnet, so yes. that's my fault. I yes. forgot the bonnet. But tell, how did you make your bonnet? So basically, you can buy a bonnet off of Amazon. There's all kinds of bonnets. You can get a straw bonnet if you want to go a little less fancy. Uh huh. And um, I think I had a felt bonnet, yes. and it was I think like I don't know if it was a, some sort of you know pilgrim type whatever. It had a really big rim. I just cut it because they didn't have not not like the Victorian uh, style brim is a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. The Jane Austen, they had a, a little bit of a smaller brim. Mm -hmm. So I cut the brim a little bit. Um, you can do the same thing with the straw. You just cut, cut it. You can get, I think they have a tutorial you for can that. Even, yeah, you can even YouTube. get like a round, like a, like full on like, Scarlet, little scarlet hair, hair, hair hat and just Remember cut the Scarlet, back. she wears that flat kind of straw hat yes. in the first scene of Gone with the And you can cut the back and glue, you know, you and then you pull down the sides. Yeah. So with yeah. mine, I covered it. I had this extra material. 
And I, I mean, I don't really sew that much and I don't hot really do anything like that. Yes. So I just, I tucked it in. I hot glued it where I wanted to put it and I just made sure it was tight and I had some pretty tucks in the back. I took some vintage lace yes. and I lined the inside of it with a little piece of lace. Right. Again, hot glue. Right. I took some beautiful satin gold ribbon that matched um, the gold jacket uh -huh. and I put that, you know, around the sides, hot glued that Get up so I could... roses. I got some Maybe little... Maybe some fish. ostrich feathers. I had some feathers. I think I had some little, um, like, berries. Ah, you, know, you can do of berries. Of berries. Oh. Because it was a Christmas thing, yeah. you know, but you can right. do a little bird, you right. can do feathers, right. you can do lots of little roses, anything Net delicate, tool. some tool, anything. You know, I mean, they were all big into making their own bonnets. You remember right. Lydia was always saying, right. oh, it's so ugly, I'm going to pick it apart, you know, yes. and redo it. And, you yes. know, they made their own bonnets. So, yes. ribbons for, for and ribbons for bonnets, ribbons for dresses, ribbons, ribbons for your ribbons, neck. Yeah, ribbons, ribbons for everything. Ribbons, ribbons. 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 Well, we her. hope that this has helped you a little bit with your ideas for coming up with your own Jane Austen costume. And we will see you all again very soon. Good night. Bye. Hello, and welcome to the Sister Sanditon. No. <laughs> oh dear. No, no, let me try that again, dear. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Tell me when you... I feel like my... Tell me when you've adjusted yourself. My, rib my ribbon is... It well, is. It's because you're looking at the mirror image. Now, don't try to... If you shift oh it one gosh. way, you have to shift the opposite way, actually. Yes. actually. Alright, are you ready? I suppose. Okay, I look like the camera. I, I, I look like the Michelin like, man in this. Is it like this or something? Maybe oh, it's. Dear, bring it down, dear. Oh my gosh, I need to tighten. Maybe I should put a rubber band around these. Why sleeves. do we look so funny? We didn't look like this before. Every time I come, I look like I have a, a Hulk arm. Look at that thing. <laughs> your form. Oh my gosh, your form is bigger than my husband's. Okay, this is scary. It's not accurate. I know. Oh well, I'll... here we are. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I, you see how huge we are? I've look? actually got boobs and I don't even have them in real life. I mean, this is... I always look, I feel like, I, you know who I look like? Madame Defarge. You mean from Les Mis? Sweep the blood! Yeah, remember how they would yeah. like to call to sweep the yeah, blood on like them? a big old brawny. I look, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Master of the ass! <laughs> what is that? Les Mis, yeah. Oh, my hair. All right, here we go. All right, okay. should we try that again? Yep.